Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've made a video and I just wanted to do a video showing um, a couple things that I purchased off of Hotlook. Um, I had bought a couple of things from the Balm uh, probably about six months ago and I fell in love with the brand and now every time I see them on Hotlook I just want to stock up on everything. I mean, I absolutely love this brand. I love the packaging, I love the quality of the products and um, the first two things that I had bought, so I bought these a, a while back. I got Hot Mama Blush, and then I got um, Bahama Mama, like, bronzer. And then the Hot Mama, it's absolutely beautiful. It's just, um, it's a beautiful, like, apricot. Um, it's almost like a, a dupe for, for the NARS uh, orgasm. It's very pretty. has, like, a gold, um, gold uh, dual tone to it. I don't know if you can see in the light there. And then the Bahama Mama, I mean, how cute is that packaging? The Bahama Mama has, um, uh, it's like a matte bronzer, uh, doesn't have any, if it, I guess it has, like, just a few shimmers in it, shimmering, uh, bits in it, but not a lot. It's pretty matte. It's a little bit orange on me, so I have to be very, very careful, like, you know, just use a little, little bit. But, I mean, that was just one swipe, and it comes on, it comes off really well. And then, um, so I bought those two at first, and then it came on Hot Look once more, and I decided to go ahead and get this one. It was a nude tube. This is literally the best palette I have ever purchased. I absolutely love this, because it's everything I want in a palette. So, I'm sure everyone's already, ra I've seen quite a few people rave about this, and... I guess it took me a long time to, like, get on the bandwagon for it. So, anyways, like, it's absolutely adorable packaging. Colors in it are perfect for fall. Also, too, um, I've been using this for quite a while now, but just the pigmentation on everything is just so pretty. Um, I love those, I love this one, this one, and, like, as you can see, this one's been well used. I always use this one on, like, the inner corner. And then uh, the black, I mean, the black is what sells this packet, or this palette to me, because um, the, the black and then this matte uh, black and the matte uh, brown. Just one quick swipe, and that's all you need. And this will be your entire makeup routine. So you can get your, your liner with the two matte eyeshadows, and then you've got such a good collection of other colors. And then... I like it because they didn't try and throw in, like, that weird random color that nobody's ever going to use. Like, while I appreciate, you know, cool blues or, you know, really crazy colors, you know, when I when I want just a regular, sometimes you just need that regular palette that just has all the basic essentials in it. And that's what this one is for me. I love it. Um, and then you get, you know, your couple sparkly shades. Um, with these three, and then um, you do get one more matte shade, so it's got three mattes in it. Um, I guess this maroon color is more of like like a satiny, well, I guess it's more of a matte, but the colors are beautiful. If you haven't, if you haven't picked it up already, definitely go do it, because it's, it's a great palette. And, I mean, I'm not going to do a whole swatch thing, a swatch fest for you because every, uh, every YouTuber's done a video on this. I just wanted to let you guys know that it's awesome. And if you haven't picked it up, go do that. So I picked up a, um, a new haul of balm stuff the other day, and it fin was finally sent to me, and I was super excited about it. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about was a lipstick. I was super excited about it because it looked like that perfect berry color. It was ca it's called Amanda Kiss My Lips by The Balm. It comes in a cute little package. This is the first time that I've had it, an issue with uh, Hot Look, but they handled it really well. So they're great. I really like the company, um, so I was really impressed with that. But they sent they sent it to me, and it was broken off inside the top here. I don't know if you could see that. Um, it's kind of stuck in there. But also, too, the color, it... On um, on the website, it looked more of like a maroon, but it's it's like a brown. Yeah, there's a lot of brown in it versus it being like a really pretty berry color. So that was a little disappointing. But you know what? It was like a five dollar lipstick, and you know what? For five dollars, it wasn't a big deal. And the next thing I picked up was the Instain blush in Houndstooth. It's cute packaging. Um, this really does last all day. Um, it's Wow, I'm sorry. Terrible. 
Um, it's a really beautiful kind of like mauvey pink color. I'll go ahead and swatch right there. Um, this is a real pretty basic um, basic satin blush. It's, it looks really nice on the cheeks. Um, and then it, you can just sheer it out. It's very pretty. And it just leaves a really pretty finish. Um, so yeah, um, I have, I've only worn this about twice. Um, still kind of playing around with it because it's it's a beautiful color, but I'm I already blushed like down here, and it's it's kind of like a pinky red color. So I feel like sometimes when I wear this, it's a little much. So be very light-handed with it. And the next two things I picked up were the Cindy Luminizer and the Mary Luminizer. And I've heard about these from everybody, and so I finally was like, oh, I'm just gonna give them a try. And they're beautiful colors. The Mary Luminizer is a beautiful, beautiful gold color. I don't know if you can see see that right there. Um, it's just kind of like a pretty satiny, um, real pretty highlight. I actually use it a lot as an eyeshadow because it it just makes that perfect like goldish eyeshadow. I think especially if you have a darker skin tone, which is pretty much everybody. Um, is to look really beautiful on you. And then the Cindy Luminizer, this was the one I was really excited about, and I purchased it because it was like, it, uh, I purchased it, and it looked a lot lighter than what it actually is, and I opened up the package that it was in, and it dropped on the floor, so it shattered into a million pieces, so I'm super upset about that. And I haven't, um, mixed it with alcohol yet and, you know, tried to put it back in the pan. Sometimes I feel like when you do that, it changes the formula a little bit. So I haven't, I haven't wanted to do that yet. I might just break it up further and just put it in a different package. But I'm going to see if I can get this without it spilling everywhere. So it's, oh, I fail so hard. So right as I said that to you, I dropped it and it spilled everywhere, all over me, all over the floor. Go figure. <sighs> well, at least I have I have to be grateful because it's on Hot Look all the time and I'll just have to go and get another one. Oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> Blogging fail. So anyways, that's the Cindy Luminizer right there. I don't know why I just decided to do it all over my hand and try and contort and twist in a million different ways. I'm so bummed. <laughs> okay, and then the very last thing, moving on, <laughs> the very last thing was this How About Them Apples. I thought this was such a cute idea, and I've never tried cream bl blushes before. I, they always make me a little bit nervous because they just feel like they'll, they'll set as soon as you put them on, but this has been really fun to kind of play with. So I usually just use a stippling brush with this, and on the inside super super cute and you have all these cute little cowboys with um and they're all you know pie names or apple names so cider cobbler pie and they're really beautiful colors that one's really really bright but it blends out really nicely and um it says you can use this as a lip lip tint or um or on your cheeks that red is very intense as well. But I really like this cider color right here. It's really beautiful. And it just that's actually what I'm wearing today. Just blend it out. And that was the third color right there. And then Chris is uh, is more of like a a goldish goldish pink color. It's got a lot of shimmer in it. Right there. It's really pretty. Um, and this was just a fun little palette. I thought it would be great just to try out cream blushes just because you get quite a few in here and there's a lot of good colors in there that I would wear. But so far I really enjoy this palette and I really enjoy this brand, The Balm. I love their packaging and it's just a really great inexpensive brand. Well, it's inexpensive on Holt Look, so if you have a, don't have a Holt Look account, definitely go check it out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye.